In January 2025, wildfires swept through Southern California. Briefly afterwards, the media reported a study had found that climate change had made the fires more likely. I've had a look at the study and I found quite a surprise. The January wildfires burned more than 230 square kilometers in the Los Angeles and San Diego counties, fueled by drought, low humidity, and the strong winds typical for this region. In two weeks, the fires destroyed more than 18,000 homes and other buildings. Over 200,000 people had to be evacuated, 28 were reported dead. Blaming God for natural disasters has fallen somewhat out of fashion, Quite possibly because God has a poor track record replying to media inquiries, and so the media instead blamed climate change. Conditions that fueled LA fires were 35% more likely because of climate change, scientists find, according to NBC News. Climate change made the deadly Los Angeles wildfires more likely, wrote The Independent. Climate triple whammy boosted risk of LA fire study shows, according to The Guardian. Study says climate change made conditions that fed California wildfires more likely, more intense, wrote AP, and so on and so forth. But what did the study actually say? One thing we can say without even looking at the study is that figuring out how much climate change had to do with this particular fire is an extremely difficult question. This is because the frequency and severity of wildfires depend on a lot of factors. You don't just need a dry spell to get a big fire, you also need a lot of rain during the previous growth season. There's forest and land management and the frequency of controlled burns. And the California winds depend on global circulation patterns such as the El Nino Southern Oscillation, whose relation to climate change is currently unclear. There are so many uncertainties. I was amazed that they could say anything at all. So I've had a look at the study. It comes from a collaboration called the World Weather Attribution Center. Their press release from January 28th is titled Climate Change Increase the Likelihood of Wildfire Disaster in Highly Exposed Los Angeles Area. It says, we find that human-induced warming from burning fossil fuels made the peak January fire weather index more intense with an estimated 6% increase in intensity and 35% more probable and that this trend is projected to continue into the future. This is what the media reported. But where is the uncertainty estimate? Is it 35% with 100% confidence? Probably not. Let's just read the actual study then. Okay, it's 59 pages long, so um. Maybe we'll not read it, but let's at least look at the result to find the confidence level. In this table, they display the result as a ratio of probabilities. That's the probability that such a wildfire happens with climate change at the current level, divided by the probability that such an event would have happened at pre-industrial carbon dioxide levels. They find this ratio is in the range of 0.48 to 3.6 with 95% confidence. They also find that the the intensity change in percent is in the range of minus 5.9 to plus 10.5 percent with 95 percent confidence. Those results are compatible with no effect at all. They didn't find any reliable relation between the LA wildfire and climate change. The uncertainties are too large. Then they write several paragraphs in which they explain that other studies have shown that climate change increases risk factors for wildfires and that therefore they have high confidence that fossil fuel is to blame for this particular fire. Let that sink in for a moment. They have high confidence that climate change played a role despite the fact that their own analysis didn't find any significant relation. As I said in previous episodes, I'm generally unconvinced by this event attribution business. Climate models are no good for predicting local weather situations, do a bad job with the frequency of extreme weather events in general, and the result of the probability estimates strongly depend on exactly how you define the extreme event in question. 
But this particular study is below even my already low expectations. Look, you all know I'm not a climate scientist. I'm just some YouTuber who reads too many papers. I stand here thinking I should really keep my mouth shut. And I guess a lot of climate scientists think the same. But what the f***? In any decent scientific discipline, this result would have been reported as not statistically significant. End of story. This isn't an innocent mistake. These are policy relevant numbers and it's irresponsible to misreport them. Please imagine that a county which has seen wildfires or floods or heat waves bases infrastructure investments on probability estimates from this event attribution nonsense. This money is then not available for other more important investments, such as maybe not building cities between earthquakes, wildfires and volcanoes. But otherwise, California is a great place to live. I'm not the trusting kind. I don't like it if companies keep track of my whereabouts and God knows what else. That's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. And it also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It doesn't just protect your privacy, it also makes your life easier. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations? For example, for example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States. Problem solved. You can make use of our special offer if you use the link nordvpn.com/sabine or the coupon code Sabine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.